The affidavit at the center of a Trump legal battle is released, but with heavy redactions. We are learning more about the documents the former president returned in January, but we still don't know what was taken from his home earlier this month. Fox's Madeline Rivera has more details from Washington. The affidavit confirmed a lot of the details that we've heard, but it also left a lot to be learned. Three dozen pages and tons of blacked out question marks, but the public got to see that infamous affidavit used to justify the search of a former president's home. This unprecedented move was done in part because of the public intrigue. This uh, affidavit is next to impossible to glean anything out of what uh, we want to know. Obviously, it confirms much of what we know. In those 38 pages, the Justice Department laid out their concern over former President Trump's handling of sensitive documents. Upon review, the FBI says 184 classified documents were recovered, 67 documents marked as confidential, 92 marked secret, and 25 marked as top secret. Also among the documents, handwritten notes from the former president and a letter from Trump lawyer Evan Corcoran arguing the former president had ultimate classification authority. The current president is making fun of this notion. Oh, I've declassified everything in the world. I'm president. I can do it all. Come on. Mr. Trump is going after the DOJ and the judge in charge of the case, saying on Truth Social, Judge Bruce Reinhardt should never have allowed the break-in of my home. Among the many questions remaining, are charges coming? I have never been convinced that they necessarily want to prosecute the president or the former president on a document retention basis. Now we wait to see if any appeals come in, especially from the media who might try and see more. In Washington, Mouth Rivera, Fox News.